Welcome to my world. glasses. I used to wear bifocals. They removed some cataracts. They're going to be doing my left eye the week of Thanksgiving. So I'm super excited about that. If you're new, we're going to be doing a really great video for you today. We're going to be doing five dinners, five ingredients or less, all from my pantry shelves. There is a video prior to this video where we pulled everything from the shelves and organized great meal ideas for the week before Thanksgiving. So your meal planned before Turkey Day and everything is stress-free. We're going to get started. We've got a lot of prepping to do. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button and tap on that bell. Let's get started. Here's what we're going to be making. First item on the right here, all the way to the right, the nor. We're going to add broccoli and chicken to it. And we're going to make a chickpea pot pie. You're going to need chickpeas, mixed vegetables, some kind of flour for a topper, and some cream soup. I have cream and mushroom. Then I'm going to boil up a couple of cups of lentils and make a chicken lentil soup. I have onions and celery and carrots on hand. We're also going to be doing an enchilada bake. You're going to need a red sauce or a white sauce. Chicken. I have some Hormel chicken and some corn and some diced tomatoes with the wraps. All from the Dollar Tree. Then we're going to make a cheeseburger soup. Really easy to do. You're going to need either ground beef or black beans. I'm going to use black beans. I have mixed vegetables. You can use frozen if that's what you have. I have diced tomatoes. And we're going to be using this Kraft Deluxe Mac and Cheese. It has the cheese packet right in it, so I won't be using all of my cheese. Over to your stove and get it turned on to 350 degrees. We're going to get a pot of water going for the lentils. We're going to be doing the cheeseburger soup. Get your water on. I'm going to fill up the pot three quarters of the way full. I'm going to use two cups of the lentils. I'm going to check them for rocks. that turned on I like to start with high heat so I can put the lentils in once we check them we're going to scoop out two cups from the bag into a bowl and just check for rocks if they're good to go we're going to throw them into pot when that becomes to a full boil I'm going to go ahead and you're going to dump your lentils into the bowl Dollar Tree carries lentils and I get them from the food pantry we have a food pantry haul playlist and a Dollar Tree haul playlist. And I save my jars so all the lentils will go into the jar that we don't use. Kind of feel around. These are by Kojak, like the TV show. Lentils are good. Scoop out what I need. Get them ready. Take the rest of the lentils and get them into that jar. I'm 
stew time, you can go ahead and open up your cans and you're going to drain them completely and get the chicken ready or whatever type of chicken you have on hand. I'm using canned chicken to make this really pantry friendly and very easy to do. I got these gifted to me recently from our community center who does giveaways once a month. If you need it, you just go get it. No questions asked. This is awesome. With the chicken lentil soup, I'll be using some of the carrots and celery. For the cheeseburger soup, I'm going to be using some of the bell peppers as well as the enchilada. We're going to get them cut up and ready to go. This is ready to go. I already added some salt. I'm going to let them boil for about 15 minutes and then we're going to transfer them into the Dutch oven with some celery, onions, and carrots. Go ahead and get that celery chopped up. Go ahead and chop it up about a half inch thick and you're going to get them cut up and cut up all of them. I'm going to be using all the celery within both of the dishes for the meals. The celery is going to be split up between the chickpea pot pie and the chicken and lentil soup. I grabbed my pie dish and I put half into the pie dish for the chickpea pot pie. The other half of the celery is going to go into the Dutch oven for the, the lentils and chicken soup. Go ahead and drizzle some oil into that Dutch oven. About a tablespoon. And you're going to throw in your celery pieces. I'm not going to be cooking the lentils on the stove top all the way because they're going to go into the Dutch oven. So it's just about 12 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add a, the chicken, which I already drained. Again, use whatever kind of chicken you have on hand. And you're going to season it with, with salt and pepper and garlic if you wish. Always to your taste. I'm just a couple from my family. I'm skipping the garlic in a lot of these dishes. Perfect. I'm going to get some carrots cut up. Baby carrots are perfect to work with. Use baby carrots during the holidays. They're so easy to work with. You don't have to peel them. You can just chop them up about a half inch thick. Perfect for all of your dishes that need carrots within them. It's going to go into the Dutch oven and the other part into the pie dish, which I have right here. And lastly, we're going to cut up the onion. We'll do the bell peppers when it gets closer to the cheeseburger soup and the enchilada bake. Grab your Dutch oven that we already went ahead and started filling. Good sized onion is all you're going to need for these two dishes. I always cut the sides and then I slip down the middle and then I cut it up in either a diced or a mince. Part of the onion into that mixture, celery, onions, and carrots, and the base of a pot pie or soup. I just roughly chopped it to save time. Now we're going to get the rest of this onion into the Dutch oven, and we're going to remove the peas from the stove top, get them into the Dutch oven, and get the Dutch oven going. I'm going to drain the chickpeas, make the pie topper, and get that going. Then we're going to work on the others. I'm going to let them soak for a minute. Oh yeah, the ones are going to cook perfectly. And we're going to get them into the Dutch oven. To the Dutch oven. We're going to add a bouillon cube. 
and water. The lentils will finish cooking in your Dutch oven. One boiling cube and you're going to fill the water three quarters of the way full. Four cups of water. Perfect. Let's get this onto the stove top and let it start simmering. Let it simmer on low. Stir it. And just let it cook. Easy and healthy. I'm going to get this drained and into the pie dish. Add in the cream of mushroom soup or whatever you have on hand. I'm also going to still include my mixed vegetables. I'm going to rinse it and add them in. The vegetables are rinsing. I'm going to add in the cream soup. This is what the bottom of your pie pan should look like. The melody with the onion, celery, as well as carrots. You can add milk if you want. I'm not going to. black pepper, a couple of teaspoons are to your taste, salt, I'm using sea salt, a couple of teaspoons, and then just dump that right on top of everything else and spread it out evenly. Now if you wanted to, you can go ahead and make the biscuits, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is dump it right on into the pie shell. Now that the filling is in for the chickpea pot pie, one of our viewers turned me on to this. And you're just going to sprinkle it. Then you're going to even it out and add some butter. What could be easier? Again, these can be found at Dollar Tree. I stockpile them. Now your oven should be preheated. This is what it looks like. You just dump the packet out on top of the mixture for the pie and then layers of butter top and bottom three quarters of a stick it's going to go in for about 35 40 minutes we're going to take it out and let it cool we're going to continue to let the chicken and lentil soup simmer and we're going to get started on the other dinners center of the rack is my favorite place i'm going to time the timer it's time for timer if you're a gen Xer, you know what that is oh, a wagon wheel that was my favorite 35 and add. When I bake, I like to start small, add on, so nothing burns. And this next dish is going to be the enchilada bake, and we're going to get the bell peppers prepped up. Go ahead and chop off all the tops of the bell peppers close to the head as you can. You're going to go through each and every one until they're all chopped up. Then you're going to roughly chop them to get them ready for the dishes. And the onions are ready. I chopped them up as you can see here. That's why it looks like there's a lot more than onion. Half into the casserole dish, half into the crock pot. Let's get that going. This is going to cook on low and it's beans. We're going to mash them up to make them look like pea for about an hour or two. Put the bell peppers in and it's going to be a nice one pot meal. I'm going to put everything into the pot and let the crock pot do its magic. The rest of the onions and bell peppers are going to go into the uh, casserole dish for the enchiladas. The entire content of the package and reserve the packet with the cheese sauce.
going to add in the cheese sauce. If you want it extra cheesy, you can add in whatever kind of shredded cheese that you have available. I'm going to fill the water up to here. I'm going to mash up the beans, the entire content of your diced tomatoes. Add your water and a boiling cube, garlic, salt, and pepper, or omit the garlic if you don't want garlic. Always to your taste. It's going to take a couple hours to cook, and because I'm not using ground beef, I'm using black beans. It's going to be crock pot friendly and done in no time at all for an awesome weeknight meal, or you can make it ahead. You freeze it and then heat and eat it on the stove top in a pot. Let it simmer in your Dutch oven. You can totally freeze soup. It looks like a really nice soup with the bell peppers and the onions. Going cube and give it its flavor. Two to three teaspoons, or as you require for your family. Just a couple. I'm omitting the garlic. This is on low. We're going to cover it. I'm going to mash up the beans and we're going to come back and add the beans to the crock pot. I'm going to uncover that and we're going to check on the local soup and the pot pie before we start the next one. Again, you can use ground beef if you want or even ground turkey. Next dish, you're going to add in everything to a bowl because the chicken's pre cooked. We're going to get it chopped up bell peppers and onion mix that we cut up previously for the soup that's in the crock pot. This is going to go in a casserole dish in that 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes until it's all nice and bubbly. Before I move any further, I'm going to get in the mixed vegetables. And mix it up. You're going to add in your drained diced tomatoes and drained in corn. Your red sauce or white sauce, whichever you have. I'm going to prep the chicken and add it on in and I'll show you everything when we're done. Once the wraps are off the chicken and it's rinsed, go ahead and chop it up and chop it up fine. It doesn't have to be anything specific as long as into bite-sized pieces for the dish. Into the bowl and with your, a spoon we're going to mix that up. This is the mixture for the enchiladas and you can put it in a bag and freeze it and make them at a later date. Spoon and mix it up well. Just going to grab what's closest to me. And go ahead and add the spices in. Just a couple of teaspoons of black pepper and salt. I'm going to pan up a few so you can see what it looks like going into and in out of the oven. And then we're just going to go into a bag. So you're getting a lot of meals out of that one batch. Spray that. These are what the shells look like from the Dollar Tree. They come in a resealable bag, which is really nice. And then you're going to just scoop out just like that. And then you're going to roll it. 
I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all done in the casserole dish. Put the bacon to the oven for about 25 minutes. I had to put the pot pie in for another 10. I'm checking on it. There's about 5 minutes and change. And it's probably going to need another 10 minutes. You want to make sure the shell is completely solid. I stuck the bacon on the rack underneath the pie. And that's going to go in for 25 minutes. Added in a cream soup. This has been simmering on low for about an hour. And the cheeseburger soup. The cream soup is going to help make it a nice creamy cheesy soup. You can add a little bit of flour or parmesan to thicken it. This is the cheeseburger soup in the crock pot. Gonna pour your Alfredo right onto the skillet. Just like that. Gonna get the heat on low. Now you can make your own Alfredo with the packet, but we're gonna do a shortcut here. I already have the chicken chopped and the broccoli ready to go. I'm just gonna heat up the Alfredo sauce. Throw the noodles on to the skillet because it's gonna be a one skillet meal. Really easy few ingredients. All these dishes were about five ingredients or less. You check on the pie and see how it's doing. The whole packet in, that's fine. You can pick up these Nords at Dollar Tree. I have them with the rice packets. We get the broccoli on. I'm gonna add the chicken last. Then I add some salt, pepper. This is broccoli from Dollar Tree. It's by TJ Farms. I snacked it a few times so it would come up all crumbly for this dish. Clock is ticking down. We got about 16 minutes. Gonna get that chicken on. This should be done in about 16 minutes. Easy weeknight meal that you can freeze and put away for another night. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper if you wish to. You can add garlic. I'm not going to. Pan on medium heat. I'm gonna add on the spices. Just salt and black pepper, always to your taste. This is the chicken broccoli Alfredo. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, about a quarter of a cup, so it thickens nicely. And then the noodles will cook within the mixture. And you want this to cook until the broccoli is thawed and cooked and tender all the way through. Here's the first dish out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool way down so you can see what it looks like here. I'm going to take out the pot pie. It should be done. I'm going to test it with a fork first. Get my mixture for the next time we do fajitas into the freezer to thaw. I'm going to lay it down flat in my freezer. Grilled chicken fajita on it. So we got two meals out of that one mixture. Here is the chicken and lentil soup, and you can do it in the crock pot. Real easy, freeze it and dump it into the crock pot, let it simmer all day. Just write on the bag what it is. Starting to come along nicely. Once the broccoli is all done, it'll be ready. So just let the broccoli continue to cook and let it cool down, and then you package it for the freezer. Another 10 minutes. Here's the chickpea pot pie, real easy to do, five ingredients, healthy, great option for someone in your family Thanksgiving if who doesn't like meat. Everything you need to know to make any of these dishes will be listed in my description box. This is done. I'm going to let it cool off right on the stove top. My skillet that I scored for free. And then it's going to go into a container with what the contents are and the date made for Thanksgiving week. Uh, it's the fifth dish. We have the chicken soup that's cooling down, put the pie cooling down, the cheeseburger soup that's in a crock pot simmering, and then the enchilada bake. Here is my cheeseburger soup. We use black beans to stretch our beef and to save money and to be frugal. It looks absolutely incredible. We added the cream soup and the black beans, diced tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, and then we mashed up the black beans. Real easy to do budget-friendly. 
top container is the chicken and lentil soup. This is the cheeseburger soup made with black beans to stretch our beef. The bottom is the chicken alfredo with broccoli and it is phenomenal. We have another meal. We can make another five fajitas for another fajita bake. And the first five fajitas are in the container. Everything is going to be frozen. The pie, I'm going to pick up a special container for it so I can get it into a pie. So let me show you the pie. Here is the pot pie. It is chickpea pot pie. Very easy to do. A few ingredients, all these dishes. Everything you need to know how to make them will be in my description box down below. Very happy how everything turned out. Thanksgiving week is prepped. I'll be doing lasagna soup Wednesday for Italian night. And then Thursday, of course, turkey. And then leftovers on Friday. And that is it. We did five dinners. A few ingredients from the pantry shelves were planned for the week of Thanksgiving, including the turkey, as well as the leftovers on Friday. If you're new, subscribe, smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell for more great ideas from your pantry to your stovetop to your table. Family friendly, budget friendly. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and we have a Facebook page and group. All the social sites are listed down below, and we're going to do giveaways. That information is also down below. Must be a United States resident. Any questions, you can get in touch with me. Contributes1260 at yahoo.com. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Have a great day.